Hi, I'm Elliot Fong from KUCR. I'm here with Eric Atkinson, PhD candidate at UC Riverside, studying the representation of Black people in comics. He also teaches at Cal State San Bernardino and at Mount San Jacinto College. We're here to share insights and perspectives from people around the community. How are you doing? Good, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for uh, you know being here. And so, well, I wanted to ask, how has the current pandemic impacted your studies and your teaching? Oh, greatly. Um, at first, it was very much a detriment because it was like uh, I had to figure out how to transform a class that was already uh, underway going face to face to something online and have it be just, an engage, just as engaging for a bunch of students that hadn't planned. Um, but mostly now the way I look at it is it's an opportunity to figure out uh, different ways of teaching in hopes that it makes me a better teacher in the long run. In converting my classes to something online, it's forced me to think about what students need and how I can facilitate it for them. Oh yeah. How has the you know, general feeling been? Have you been, um, you know, have, have the students been, you know, given a positive reaction to it? I mean, so far, so far they have. Um, there have been some bumps along the way because um, because I teach at Cal State, which uses Blackboard, but I teach at Mount San, Mount San Jacinto, which teaches through Canvas. Those are two different platforms. <laughs> and so the learning curve has been, shall we say, steep in trying to get things running correctly to make sure everybody gets what they need. How about personally? How has it affected you? as a scholar, as a student, teacher? It's, it's really affected me um, it, as a scholar uh, because it's, I'm by myself most of the time. And so I've really started looking at why, why it is I want to study what I want to study. Is it what's in it? What about it? Whatever, whatever I'm reading about, whatever I'm studying, what does that have to do with who I think I am as a person? What am I getting out of whatever I'm studying? And uh, on a personal level, what it's forced me to do is really, really think about my sense of identity in the sense of who I think I am because I'm socially relating to these other people. Um, but it's also forced me to really start thinking about how I interact with the world and how I connect with the world when I don't have it. You know, uh, you don't miss the water until the well runs dry. Um, and so what it's made me do is pull within myself to figure out what I'm doing and why I do it, what I get out of it. And one of the things I've learned is I have been actively trying to reform my notions of, of, of how I move through the world. Uh, I typically, because I'm an adjunct, because I'm a grad student, <laughs> that I've had to struggle, I've had to hustle. So I've had the mentality of, of surviving. And now, because I'm in this moment, we're all in this moment, and I've really started to challenge that notion of survival and try to figure out ways of thriving. You know, I have little goals, like even though I'm older, I'm trying to do things like uh, a small goal, like touch my toes, or <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to pick up my guitar again to learn that song, the one I thought was too hard. Um, I'm writing, uh, it's, it's, I don't know if it's, uh, anybody will ever see it, but uh, I'm writing. So I'm thinking about not just writing in the academic sense, but in the creative sense, poetry, songs, song lyrics, that kind of thing. So I'm, I have little goals I set for myself and uh, I'm trying to pursue those because that's what, that's what I got to do now. That's cool. Well, uh, any closing remarks, anything, um, you want to share any last ideas? Well, the only thing I have to share is I would like to see more of, and this is one thing I try to set up in my, all my classes is just because we're socially isolated right now does not mean that we're, we cannot be connected. So I set my classes up in, in such a way, try to at least, where students need to communicate and connect with other students. 
And um, I find that really helps because some real friendships have, come, uh, have blossomed from that. And I find that students who can connect with each other on this one level um, end up helping each other through this and they end up thriving. And so my advice is to find that something that helps you thrive. Whether it's how big it is, small, big, whatever. If you're making bread, if you're going to tackle yoga, even though you don't feel like you're, <laughs> you're well, ready for it. Uh, <laughs> something like that. Uh, that's, that's my advice. Something small, but has a great impact. Cool. Well, Eric, thank you for sharing. It's been great talking with you and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll hang out, um, very soon. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. You too. Bye.